this will be in Q&A for track one directly after this. Congratulations to everybody for making it, surviving last night, and being here today. So, uh, without further ado, here's Cutaway. It's going to be a good talk. Thank you, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by inviting Spencer McIntyre up here. Can you come up real quick? Stand in front of the stage. Here he is, right here. Uh, Spencer works uh, for Secure Six, right? Okay, and uh, he's been doing meter research for them. He's also doing uh, the uh, AMI assessments as well. And what they've done is they've released an optical tool, um, at least a framework that you can start with. We're actually going to be talking about how I did that in just a second, but, what I want, but we're not releasing our tool publicly. We're releasing it to vendors. We're releasing it to utilities and to security researchers that we can confirm uh, are working in this industry. And the reason for that is ours has a little bit more stuff. I don't know, sit down. Back up here so people can see your face. Um, and uh, um, it, it, hang on a second. Um, because we have a little bit more functionality in our tool, uh, just built in, Spencer's broken out a little bit. So it's his tool, Terminator, is on Google Code. If you go and uh, look it up, you can download it. You can have his code. It'll be the initial framework that you need to communicate with. I'm sure he has modules that he has that are proprietary, but you can write your own. So, um, also, with that being said, if you're a security researcher in the utility field, please contact me. Come to the Q&A afterwards. Uh, I'll get your card. Um, we'll research it, and uh, we'll get you our code as well. So, Spencer McIntyre, everybody, has done a great job. If you haven't seen EXP, you should check that out as well. I use it in all of my wireless assessments.
this slide was in the first one. I did, I've updated one bullet in this uh, because of uh, something that somebody asked me and it act was actually something that needed to be in there. But I'm not going to talk about specific meter or specific vulnerabilities in specific meters. We're not going to mention vendors because we don't really need to. Smart meters are smart meters. There's about six or seven different types out there if you, type, if you just count the main ones. You're going to find stuff. We're going to talk about stuff that is a concern with all of them, but they don't apply to each one. And therefore, you have to look at each one slightly differently. It's just like any other embedded device. So we're not going to talk about those vendors. We're not going to point out anything specific, but we're still going to get a, a, some good education. Uh, AMI, excuse me, advanced metering infrastructure. It's the uh, um, it's the whole solution. We'll talk about it in just a second. From smart meters to the back end servers. Now, meters are designed to be on the side of your house. They're high voltage electricity devices. If you take one off and you get an adapter, you'll see in a second, and plug it into your wall and touch something wrong, you will fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, who knows Travis could be here? Who's ever heard Travis use the yell? Travis has yelled at me. I started reaching for a meter. Actually, it was taken out. Um, and uh, uh, as I was reaching for the meter, he said, What the fuck are you doing? I'm a Marine. Okay, I jumped. Dude, Travis just yelled at me. Okay? But it made a point. If you don't treat it with respect, you're going to kill yourself. I've seen Atlas get shocked. I've seen Hugh get shocked. I've seen Matt Carpenter get shocked. Q's arm was numb for about three hours, okay? And it wasn't even plugged in. That was just the energy coming off the cap that you'll see in just a second. Okay, um, but don't do research on your own. Get permission. <laughs> All right, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about what smart meters are so that people that don't understand it will understand it. Okay, uh, then we're going to talk about what security researchers are looking for. But I say criminals because that's exactly what we're looking for. We want to figure out what the criminals are doing, okay? And they're going to look at it just the same way we are, we're doing. So we're going to outline those steps, and you'll be able to understand the risks associated with that. Then we're going to look at how that information can lead us, gather us information so that we can start building tools. We're going to build assessment tools. Um, some people are going to build attack tools. Uh, and then we're going to talk about an op the optimal tool, and if we get to it, some of the mitigation. And I'll, if I don't get to it, let me say it now. The mitigations that I have in this slide are already implemented out there. That's why I feel comfortable talking about this. They're not all implemented by every solution, but just like everything else, you know, people are trying to build a good solution, they're doing their best, and it's stuff like this that's helping them understand it and get other mitigations built in. Now, the purpose for this presentation is to get the word out. I want to educate people. I wanted to educate 100 people at Shmukon, but now I've got to educate thousands, so I, I, I'm happy. But I've also educated the vendors. You know, they've started me talking completely differently about their solutions now, just from that one talk, that one talk getting canceled. So, I wasn't scared about talking about this because we had released the AMI attack methodology back in 2009. Okay? Everything we're going to talk about here is what... I, Basically, I use this as a guide to help teach me hardware, teach me meter assessments, teach me embedded device assessments, okay? And we're gonna walk through that. And we're doing it to do things like generate anomalous data so that they understand what it looks like on the back end, on those servers. So this is the basic breakdown of the A&I methodology. The stuff that's outlined in red, those are the publicly facing devices. The one on the far right is a smart meter. Now, smart meters can be meshed together. Um, they, they, they either communicate over 900, mega, or, yes, 900 megahertz, um, communicating with other meters and with the aggregators uh, that, are, that are on the pull top, or they've got network interface cards that they have network interface cards that have uh, two, uh, cellular modems in there, so 2.4 gigahertz. And those won't be an aggregator except for in remote locations. And those will just talk back directly to the cell tower. But we're concerned with all of those things in the red. The rest of the stuff, the cellular network, uh, the edge resources like the routers and the firewalls back into the internal, that's just like a network. Okay, that's just a business network. We do the same types of assessment, helping them with the web assessments, database assessment, looking 